think I, you know, I remember having conversations with my dad going, Dad, I'm running a small business. And the first couple of years of running this business was so sad. Like, you know, the, you know, the, he and he's like, wow, I'm just barely breaking even or I'm spending more than I'm making building this thing. Um, but you just, you just keep moving forward, you know, you just keep moving forward and eventually, you know, it makes sense. You're making a profit in your business and growing your business. But um, maybe it was around the time I met you. I got better at this. You know, I didn't feel so guilty about, I think marketing and branding always came super easy to me. It's just something very instinctual in me. I have a natural business acumen. But you and I would have conversations and it would be just like, no, I'm just gonna, this is, this is what I do. And the only reason I do that the only reason I was so aggressively an early adapter of social media was because it allows me, by doing that simple task, it allows me to get behind a set of drums every day. And this is ultimately what I want to do. And so maybe I'll find myself behind a set of drums more often than other people who don't take the time to do that, to build that awareness of shouting from a mountaintop. This is what I do. This is what I can offer you. This is what I can do to help you. It's okay. exhausting, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> Is it? It's exhausting. Yeah. yeah, it is exhausting because because now people are calling me a renaissance man, which is so interesting because I've always been attracted to people that could do a lot of things like super well. You run the risk of being a jack of all trades, master of none. But once I started traveling down that path of expanding and expanding and expanding, I put the pressure on myself to be great at everything. To me, it all makes sense. They all go together under an entertainment, education, motivation umbrella. <laughs>